We begin Crime 2 News at 11 with big breaking news tonight. I'm Cody Proctor. Let's get right now to what we know at this hour. There has been an active shooter situation at the Gorge Amphitheater in Grant County. We are now less than 30 minutes away from our first press conference with the Grant County Sheriff's Office. And that's right, you heard me correctly. There is an active shooter investigation at one of Washington's biggest concert venues. This is the alert people see right now on the Grant County Sheriff's Office Facebook page. Here are the headlines that we know at this hour. First, the Sheriff's Office says the suspect is in custody. Second, just moments ago, within the last 10 minutes, we learned from investigators five people have been shot. Third, the, invest the shooting happened at the campground not the amphitheater itself. So tonight's show is still going on. Fourth, because of this active shooter situation, gate H at the complex is closed. Beyond Wonderland, which is the event that is happening at the Gorge, tweeted out an update in addition to referencing that gate H is closed. It also says there is no current danger to festival goers or the campgrounds. Again, let's now give you a better idea of where the shooting happened. The investigation is being centered on the campground, which is adjacent to the amphitheater. Now, again, we do want to repeat to you that this happened in the campground and not at the concert venue. Once again, there has been an active shooter situation at the Gorge Amphitheater near George. The Grant County Sheriff's Office says the shooter is in custody. And again, in that latest update, we have found out that there have been five, pe five people with injuries. The shooting happened at the campground. One very big question tonight that we are continuing. We're still continuing to bring in the latest information regarding this situation. We do have two crews heading right now to the scene at this very moment. We also have someone the, that will be there when the press conference starts with the sheriff's office around 1130 tonight. Be sure to stay with us right here on Creme 2 News at 11 and on our website at creme.com for the very latest.